So today topic is parameter file. So if you want to start up the database, this is the first file you need. First, you need to start up the instance. If you want to start up the database, right? So first, memory area will be allocated. So where we define the memory components in the parameter file. So we need to start up the parameter file first. So to start up the instance, Oracle must read either uh, read the parameter file. And it contains the configuration parameters for that instance and database. So, what is the location of the parameter file? The location of the parameter file is Oracle form DBS. So this is the location. So you can see here, this is the init parameter file, init web dot or this is the parameter file. So in Oracle, we have two types of parameter file. Two types. What are those? Static. Not P file. And SP file. What is the P file? P file is the test based file. And SP file is the binary file. Okay, so for Oracle 8i, we use the P file. Only P file. Oracle 8i. Home. Oracle 9i, we have the SP file. So, what is the advantage of using the SP file? So, in the parameter file, if you want to modify anything, any components, so that buffer size is less, now you want to modify. Then, in Oracle 8i, you need to shut down the database. You need to shut down the database. And then you can modify it and then restart. But there are few memory components from Oracle 9i onwards, and no need to shut down the database. You can modify while instance is up and running, database is up and running. There's no need to shut down the database. You can modify the instance, modify the parameter, memory components while your database is up and running. If you have the SP file, SP file is a dynamic file. Modify the components while the database is up and running. So if you create the database using manual method, you won't get the SP file. So we have created the uh, production database using manual method. So we don't have SP file for that. Right? For dev database, we have created using manual method. You won't find any SP file. You can see here SP file you can only find if you create the database using DBC method. So this database I have created using DBC method.
so we have uh, init code uh, this we have parameter file right so this is the text based file if you want to open you can open it init so this is the contents of the svp file now how to create the sp file how to create the sp file so just export oracle sid export. So you can see here we don't have SP file for cloud. We have only for test. Just type create SP file from P file. So SP file is created. You can see here SP file cloud or So Oracle will choose only SP file. If you want to start up the database. What is, what is SP file? Uh, uh, I have already explained you join data. I will explain you. Okay. So, if you want to start up the database, first it will read the SP file. Okay. Even though if you have the P file, even though you have P file, it will use the SP file only by default. Okay. So, it won't use P file after Oracle. I from uh, since uh, Oracle 9i the default parameter is SP file. Okay, it will take the memory components from the SP file. But if you don't have SP file, then it will use the P file. Got it? Default is SP file, but if you don't have SP file, it will use P file. So how to check the memory components and uh, in the parameter file export Oracle SID load we have the view V dollar parameter. First, we need to start up. Now, show parameter. We have the view p dollar v dollar parameter. So in this parameter, you can see all memory components. Okay. So select. Select name from V dollar parameter. So all these are memory components. You can see here 352 memory components are there in parameter file. Okay, you can see. And also you can see show parameter using show parameter so all memory components okay. and you can see the value also you can see this language these are, these are all memory components so this is control files we mentioned in the parameter file you can see here version that means in the parameter file so you can see you can modify all these parameters you can modify the all, all these parameters so if you want to modify this parameter 
we use these three commands to change the parameter we have to use the following commands so what are those alter system if you want to change the parameter any memory power parameter any components if you want to change we use alter system command alter system set you have to give the parameter name and value and a scope there are scope there are three scopes so what are those memory sp file and both if you want to change any parameter you have three scopes memory sp file both so what is the memory sp file and both If you are using the scope equal to memory, then if you if you are changing any parameter, and if you mentioning a scope equal to memory, so it will the parameter will be changed immediately, and it's only during the instance if the instance is up and running then only this parameter will be valid if your uh, instance is shut down then whatever you have changed it will be removed so this is not the permanent setting scope equal to memory so it is not going to set in the sp file it is not going to store in the sp file if you use scope equal to memory so here in oracle we have few parameters you can modify while your database is up running few parameters you cannot modify okay there are few parameters you cannot modify while your database is up and running okay so how to check okay, so first i will explain you this so scope equal to memory it will be immediately active only for duration of instance use the scope equal to memory and the parameter will be changed immediately and it will be only effective while your database is up and running this setting is not permanent now we have a scope equal to sp file if you use a scope equal to sp file it is applicable after restart okay so it's not uh, uh, applicable immediately but when you change this, uh, this uh, any parameter using sp file uh, a scope equal to sp file then you need to start up the database then only it's applicable now if mentioning both if you're using both then it will immediately it will be changed effective and after restart if using a scope equal to both immediately it will be changed and effective and after restart also it will be retained it is not going to remove like a scope equal to memory it will be stored in the sp file
तो ओनली डायनेमिक पैरामीटर मीटर कैन बी मॉडिफाइड यूजिंग स्कोप इक्वल टू both and mori okay so there are two type of parameter static parameter and dynamic parameter so two parameters you cannot modify while you are and it won't be you can modify but it won't be effective you need to start up the database so how to check what are the static parameter which parameter won't be effective till you restart your database so how to check so select So you can see here, 120 parameters is not modifiable. So you can modify, but it won't be effective. You need to restart the database if you want to modify anything. So database name you cannot change while your database is up and running. You need to restart the database after changing the uh, this value. So database unique name. You cannot modify. You can modify, but it won't be effective. All these are won't be effective immediately. You need to restart database. Okay, so I will change and we'll see. So how to change the parameter file, static parameter file, alter system, set, I am going to modify anything. Like DB. So I'm going to modify this parameter equal to I'm going to change from 3000 to 3001. You have to mention a scope equal to what? SP file. So we need to modify in SP file only. If not use memory, it won't be effective. You can see here this parameter cannot be modified. While your system is uh, up and running, database is up and running, you cannot modify and it won't be effective. And both also you cannot use here. If this is a static parameter, you cannot use memory and both. It will be only effective 
you restart so you need to use sp file we are going to change in sp file now you can see parameter has been changed now how to check the parameter what is the value so show parameter give this parameter name now can you see this value has been changed or not still not right still it's not effective we have changed from 3000 to 3001 but still not effective so what you have to do shut down and restart then it will be okay. then it will use new parameter now start up now you can see if the value has been changed or not now you can see the value has been changed right now it's effective okay so if there is static parameter you need to use scope equal to sp file and it will be modified in the sp file not in the memory immediately it will use this this parameter will be effective after restart now how to check the dynamic parameters so what are the dynamic parameters i want to check and which parameters you can modify and it will be effective while your database is up and running select name value from the dollar parameter where this distance modify available to true so all these parameter you can modify and it will be effective while your database is up and running now i am going to change this parameter so alter system set we have trace enabled right it's true i want to change it to false and scope equal to we can mention the both memory plus c5 Okay, so this value has been changed now we i want to check if it is effective or not so show parameter press in about so 
so you can see here trace enabled is true now what was the earlier earlier we have set it to trace equal to okay, i want to check to false okay i want to set it to false so uh, here mention the false scope equal to both now check if the value has been changed or not So you can see here earlier the value was true now it has been changed to false so it is effective now if you want to check if it is still there after restart the database or not so start immediate and start up After start, we'll check trace enabled. Now, still, if it is effective, right? So, if you use both, then it will be effective after restart also. But if you use memory, it won't be effective. It will be uh, after restart, it will be only effective till your instance is after running. Okay, so if you want to modify anything using memory, so open cluster equal to 50 to parameter open cluster. Value is 50. I want to change it to 50, 51. So this is a dynamic parameter. And a scope equal to memory. Auto system set. I want to see the time statistics parameter. So, parameter 
These are all dynamic. Time. So time and the statistics is true. Now I want to change it to false. Alter system set time statistics equal to false scope equal to memory. Okay, so this parameter is dependent on some other parameters. We cannot change it. So I will change some other parameter. We can change undo retention. Yes, undo retention we can change. Easy target, memory target. Please undo retention, it's fine. Undo table space, undo retention, you can change it. So we check for four parameters. Undo. Under retention is 900. If you want to check, change order system set undo retention equal to, I want to change to 1800. Scope equal to memory. Okay, so if you want to check if the, if the value has been changed or not, so parameter undo you can change the value has been changed immediately but if you shut down and restart it won't be effective now start up Now check it. You can see here the value is not permanent. Now it's using the old value only. So this is the scope equal to memory. So if you use a scope equal to memory, then it won't be effective after restart. So now if you have the SP file, you modify anything in the SP file, the P file won't be updated. Okay. P file will have the old value. How to update the P file? And that parameter file, init, init file. So init file will, uh, will have the old value. So if you want to update, then you need to create P file from SP file. So whatever you have modified in the SP file, it will be updated in the P file. Okay. Or it will create a new file, P file. P file will be created. So we, we use create and create parameter file using SP file. P file using SP file. Okay, so this is a parameter file. How we manage the parameter, how we can modify the memory components using alter system if you want to modify any memory components you have to use the alter system and these are the memory components so how to check how many memory components so parameter either you can use so parameter or you can get all name type and value these are all parameters and you can use also v dollar parameter so select name type value from v dollar you can v dollar parameter so you can any use any one of these two either v dollar parameter or show parameter okay, so this is the how we change the parameter.